Well, how's it going today? I'm making, I'm going to make this video kind of add on to the last one. And just some of the stuff that was in the comments. Somebody commented that uh, Alice Chalmer was called Power Director. And Massey Ferguson was called Multi-Power. And it just goes to show more to what I was saying. Every manufacturer might not copy the idea the system, but they copy the idea. So again, power director, multi-power, dual power, torque amplifier, over, under. They're all systems that do the same thing. Each manufacturer come up with a different way of doing it. And somebody said that, you know, because of the joke out there, John Deere copies everybody. Well, they do. Not just John Deere, but they all do. And it doesn't matter. Just like nowadays, if you... I don't even know Frontier still around, a sideline of John Deere's there. All that equipment is pretty much made by somebody else, painted Frontier green. I'm almost certain the tether that's under Frontier's is the same as my Peckway. I think it is. I'm not sure. But again, I used to have a New Holland tether that was built by Kuhn. It was the exact same thing as a Kuhn. They just put New Holland paint on it. Gale used to make V-Tank spreaders. For New Holland. New Holland made the Gales box spreaders. They were both the same thing. They just put each other's paint on them. Tedders. I'm not sure which one it is anymore, but you look between the Styrex, HS, uh, New Holland. You can see the similarities between uh, there's two of them all. I know one makes one for the other. I don't know which one. But like I say, they all do it. So I'm not really saying that everybody's copying everybody, but everybody gets an idea and they modify it. And then the other thing that come up quite often, or it's probably most often really, is how to operate this torque amplifier. Now I'm not calling anybody out. I'm not disagreeing with anybody. But there was a comment that irked me a little bit. And maybe it's just just me, I'm not starting anything here. I could t I'm taking it for how I thought it was meant. But anyway, the thing is how to engage this. Now, when I run it, and right now it's in direct or normal drive. When you want to go into the torque amplifier, the amplified drive, you snap it down like that. And then when I go back up, I go like this. Ease it in. I'm told that's wrong. Maybe it is. Maybe it ain't. You're supposed to do that. 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 That's the way they're saying it. I'm told it's supposed to work. What I'm doing is go to wear it out. Well, maybe. I'm not arguing. I'm not disagreeing. And, and by rights, what they're saying is technically how the dual power works. I hit the button on the floor, it's switching right there. It's not easing in. The over-under, when I jump from like over into direct, there's detents where that lever catches. You don't, can't just sit in. And when it hits there, then it's... So, maybe they're right. But this is the way I prefer to run it. And... I'm going to wear it out. Well, this tractor, it's really hard to read. I can't even read it. I'm pretty sure it's 69. It might be 68, maybe 6,900 hours. I don't know if this is the original torque amplifier in this tractor. I bought this tractor at 3,000 some hours. I've put over 3,000 hours on this tractor. I've owned this tractor for over 20 years. And frankly, the torque amplifier is the only thing I haven't touched in this tractor. I mean, I put tires on it, I've done the PTO, I've done several clutches, and I'll talk all about that. There's videos coming, I got them made, I'm just waiting for, trying to keep up with these other videos. These I made are fillers, but I've gone through the history of all three of these tractors. And I want, there's one more I want to make, and I'm still trying to figure out how to make it. But, you know, I've done the motor in this tractor. So... Am I doing it wrong or right? I don't know. But that's the way I'm running it. And now I'm going to go out here in the driveway and I'm going to show the difference. Because my theory is, 
you're better off easing things in. Now, everything in this uh, in a tractor is like a link in a chain. You got the mower to the clutch to the transmission to the torque amplifier to the bull gears to the axles to the tires. It's all one link. And just like anything with a chain, when you jerk on it, the weakest link will break. If you ease into it, things will move. And again, like saying, maybe that's the right way. But again, do you run everything like that? I mean, if that grass out there, five foot tall grass. If I take a push mower and just slam into it, mowing it, is that good for the mower? Semis. You guys driving down the road shifting the semis. You just slamming them into gears. Most of these guys are floating gears. They time them, they ease them in. They're not just slamming stuff. So to me, I'd rather run things at a slower pace, smoother, easier than just going full bore, ram into something. That's when you break things, in my opinion. So I mean, like I say, this is just the way I run it, the way I want it. I'm like I say, I'm not disagreeing with anything anybody said. Because I've heard the same thing before, and that was another comment that uh, that's the way the international dealers tell you how to run it. Okay, but then another comment was the international dealer says if your torque amplifier is not working, you just haven't replaced it yet. So, again, maybe that's what's taking the torque amplifiers out, and the dealers want you to do that. Because it's a nice repair bill for them. Who knows? But I am going to drive around the driveway here. And I'm going to shift it both ways. See if there's really much of a difference. And like I say, people can make up their own minds. Again, like I say, I've been doing uh, over 40 years. Help, since helping my dad when I was a kid. I've been doing it on my own over 30 years. And again, I'm not trading tractors every year. If I'm so hard or doing something wrong, then why? Yeah, they might look like junk, faded and all that. But mechanically, they're solid. There ain't a tractor here, a piece of equipment I'm not afraid to hook on and go do something with. And worry about whether it's going to last a day or not. Yeah, I got stuff that's old. I might go out there like tomorrow. I'm going to go out there and bale that hay over there. I may make two bales and take shear something off in the baler. Who knows? But... You know, I might be doing something right when I got equipment 20 years on this tractor, 20 years on that tractor. That Ford is 37 years. You know, uh, I'm running a Sperry New Holland 790 chopper yet. You know, I bought that probably 15 years ago, but it's a Sperry New Holland. That was made before 1986. You know, so again, maybe I do know how to run equipment a little bit just because I don't run it like somebody else says or you think I should run it it's not that not uh, doesn't mean I'm wrong so we're gonna go make a couple laps around the driveway and I'm gonna shift this both ways and we'll see see how much of a difference it makes Put it in sixth gear. show just how much of a reduction in speed and I'll be able to show the RPM jumping off because it's not really going to have a load on it when I do it and I don't think it'll be much of an RPM jump since they're not lo under load it's a big 
can let it should go mow some more hay tomorrow. We got rain for Friday or yeah, Friday morning. But whether I should mow some more rain's on, it ain't gonna hurt that much I guess. Okay, we're gonna come through here, part way up the hill. I didn't notice that much of a drop in speed. Get around the curve here. Now this is how I engage it. Now you can hear that little lope in the engine, pick up speed. of a difference. Being engaged smooth. So again, maybe they're right. I don't think I'm engaging it slow enough that I'm slipping anything. It's not like pressure. You, say, you don't feel it slipping. Well, we'll put a little more load to it. Got it in low. Well, frankly, I didn't notice a difference either way. Well, maybe you guys could pick up a difference. Yeah. Might be make more make more of a difference on the road. Like I say, the faster you go on, the harder that's going to engage. But like I say, I'm not arguing with anybody. I'm not trying to pick a fight with anybody. I agree, you're probably right. Because like I say, engaging it like that isn't no different than the way the dual power engages on the Ford when I hit that button. There ain't no easing that in. So, but to me, it's the way I want to run it. I've run this tractor over 3,000 hours, probably 30, close to 3,500 hours, and it's still running fine for me. So, I think there's more, always more than one way to do something. What's right for somebody is not right for somebody else. And they say, if anybody else thinks I'm wrong, go ahead and say so. I don't need somebody to tell me right, you know, because I'm still going to do it my, the way I'm doing it. But I. Thank you guys for your opinions. I appreciate it. Um, it's fine with me. But like I say there's one one comment. I just didn't like the way it was said. I don't think he meant it that way, but the way I took it, either way. I've watched some of his videos. He's got a couple, he's a small channel too. He's got videos out there. And uh, seems to know what he's doing too. I mean, he's in a lot better position than I am. So, and he runs pretty, has run pretty much the same equipment. So, I'm not saying he's wrong, I'm wrong, the other guy's wrong, anybody's wrong. All I'm saying is, this is the way I do it, it's working for me. But, I'm going to check out a few more of his videos. I'll probably subscribe to him. Seems like a night, you guys, all the comments seem to be pretty nice or something. Like I said, I'm not just calling out one guy. But, uh... No hard feelings, I want to say, yeah, I mean, this is not to start anything, so. Because that seems to be the thing anymore. Somebody says something, and then somebody comments back, and all of a sudden you got a war amount of guys. I mean, I've, there's two of them I'm listening to here on YouTube right now, so. Hey, if you guys want to fight, fight, I'll watch. It's good entertainment. So, thanks for watching, and we'll catch up to you next time. Say, still got some.
spraying videos coming. I got history of these tractors coming. Got hay videos coming. Got a lot of stuff coming. I just getting myself behind and putting it out. I'm trying to keep consistent. A loading and not just binge loading than nothing. Binge loading nothing. So well, one way is better than the other. If you guys have preference, let me know. So again, thanks for watching.